You need to do the nails if you are a girly like me. One, two, three, one, two, three. My nails are actually manics. Putting you on weekly manicures, and we're gonna do every week this together. I don't have that many colors. These are my colors, nude colors, so. Either get your stuff ready, your nail files, your cuticle removers, everything like that. This YSL makeup bag in here, which is full of my tools. Back note, I was nail tech. You need just a good nail file. I have a tweezer and tool like this. Was for professional use. You need to cut your nail short, then tweezer and is the best for clipping. So, let's get started. So before we start, you need a magazine or some newspaper or some sort of towel or something underneath so you don't damage your furniture. Polish on, so we gonna remove this. And I like to use these, so these like a toner sheets. These are the best because it doesn't get the stuff everywhere. I use this super drug one and I order loads uh, before I moved from London. And it just smells so nice and it's acetone free. I don't like when my nails they feel too dry after I remove the polish. So I just leave it on the nail for a second and just remove it like so. What I noticed since I started to use like cuticle oil, any cuticle oil works, any oil actually works. My nails are like collecting some sort of dust or something underneath my nails. They're not actually dirty, but like some sort of way. Using hand cream every night is essentials for me. But I noticed like when I do that, there's lots of dirt underneath my nails. I used to do manicures together with my mom and with my sister like every uh, week. We had one day when we were doing it. So I was thinking it would be so fun to do it, uh, me and you together. So this is the new kind of, you can call it maybe series, but we're gonna just like gather here once a week and do our nails together and have also your nice drink ready and chat about our week and also to share like what colors are popular at the moment and what you're using and share it with cool girls in here as well so it takes for ages to take this off today I don't doing your own nails is such a nice skill to have first of all you can save tons of money skipping like nail salon appointments and also there's like so many unqualified nail techs out there who just gonna ruin your nails like i just because i've been in the industry i've seen like so many crappy technicians that i'm like no way that i'm gonna pay and go to the salon and somebody gonna do plotchy color on my nails um gonna cut my cuticles uh fun fact i don't cut my cuticles ever if you start to cut your cuticles you always have to cut your cuticles main thing is to push them back put the oil and hand cream every single day and you're not gonna have any problem i know some people naturally have the like cuticle growth on the nails but it helps if you soak your nails and push them back like even a few times a week or when you have shower after shower after bath after soaking in a pool whatever it is you do perfect I recommend to start filing first and then add your cuticle removers and stuff so i have this really light grit nail file and because they are kind of the shape i just want to make sure there's no like harsh edges or anything because during the week um it can get rough sometimes one tip i have for you is don't sew your nails outside inwards and just gonna fix it like this way slight movement and then i will just bring it inwards so for 2024 um the nice short tidy nails are really cute so don't do like this this is like no bueno and if you have any layers lifting off it out like this and then the edge i do downwards so you can feel it it's nice and smooth the cool thing about this is a weekly manicure is that you don't have to do too much stuff in the routine it's basically like just maintenance just buff the nail edges out and the shape make you can use either this like sharp side or you can use some sort of tool like this pull it one side and take it out and use a little cotton. Nails gonna look so much better. It also pulls out after filing, so you can go and buff it out like afterwards like this. And I like to do the same, the downward motion. So easy. My biggest flex is having my nails done and having them tidy and clean and no chip polish on it. I think that's the uh, biggest like complex you can like have in your life and it's just so easy some sort of skill what you can learn so easily and comes through the practice i know so many of you like gonna definitely go in the comments and like oh my god i can't do my other hand like i'm right-handed i can't do um 
with my left hand, my right hand, but this is something what you can pick up really easily and it's just a practice and it's just like the muscle memory and take a tiny bit longer time at first and you will get used to it doing yourself. So me and you, we can learn anything we want to. Honestly, that's for 2024, natural nails, doing them yourself and going back to the like classic manicure roots, having normal nail polish is the biggest flex ever and having good nails. Today, I don't have any like cuticle to push back, so I will skip that. I take my polish, it's literally just remove the old polish, file, buff, tiny bit and clean the underneath the nails. And that's all gonna start really really easy routine first and then we're gonna just grow every week i will share some more tips and stuff so definitely make sure to join our fam here any extra like oil off so base coat i have a few different base coats i'm gonna use today the opi natural nail base coat key with the polish is that to put really thin layer but even layer so if you have any ridges on your nails it's just gonna smooth it out nicely. Just zoom you closer for this part and wipe one side and turn this side where is the polish and you start from this area. I just like to wiggle a tiny bit and pull it down. I'm literally doing it through the viewfinder. Uh, okay. And then seal the end. Look how shiny it is. Okay. The easiest is if you sit like this and then you put your elbows down put your fingers like this or this it depends and ooh, the biggest fiber ever start in the middle facing yourself of course and kind of like press tiny bit the, the brush on your nail bed so it's gonna just like even it out and if your hand is shaking don't worry it, you also will get used to and you will get really steady hand um, and with the thumb it's easier if you put like this this type of position and you can put your little finger on in your hand and just balance it out so it doesn't shake or anything or either you can just put it on the table and do it like this way but I like to do it this way because then you can really push the polish like close to the cuticle make sure it's mixed clean the brush do the same thing with other hand like under the cuticle close to the cuticle and just slide it on and seal it. If it goes on your skin, that's why you have this little dish and the little like lip brush. I like to use lip brushes because they are nice and non-fluffy. To be thin layer, you don't want this to be really thick. That's how your polish flake off or like peel off. If you have really thick layer, you kind of want to like press it to your your nail bed so all the tiny like microscopic little holes and little gravers they're gonna be all smooth out the opia polishes they try so fast like that's why so many salons are using opi i'm thinking to use today the dior no not this this is one of my og polishes i use it like all the time this is oh and the color is 500 petal de rose so basically like light rose color this color is really nice because you can do just one layer my pinky i can do with one stroke this one is such a nice natural color. You can even like to French with this. One bottle lasts me a really long time, although it looks small compared to the OPI. And I can always be guaranteed that it lasts really well, especially if I go holidays and stuff. Easy to fix the color if it's tiny little chips off anywhere. So I can just add a little layer on it. I think that's why it's my favorite color. I think I'm gonna just do one layer, pick, you can do that, or you can do this, or you can just leave it. I don't do any ice tricks, I don't do any water tricks. I'm top coat, this is from Primark, and it was like 150, and actually it's really great. It is super shiny, and it dries quickly. It's like sweeps. Top coat is the easiest to apply. And if your hand is shaking, the more you're gonna think about the shake, the more your hand gonna shake. So it's best if you don't think about it, just do it and voila we are ready so make sure you don't jump in the bed straight away let it try to i don't know scroll in your phone do something but don't touch any bedding or any bed sheets or any soft things any fluffy things let it just try maybe 10 minutes or so and then just slightly touch is it 
try or not does it have the film on it and that's the easiest thing and if you want to be a little extra the cuticle oil and don't apply it on the polish but you can just swipe at the end of the cuticles like this and it's gonna absorb whatever it needs to give them hydrated and a little nice hand cream afterwards and that's all besties tag me in your nail pics so this was the easiest manicure ever so comment and i will see you next week bye besties